Jacqueline Smith was one of the three original stars of the hit 70s TV series Charlie's Angels, and she went on to be the only of the three original angels to stay on throughout the series' entire run. While working on it, Jacqueline learned a great deal about branding as she watched her character's likeness get slapped on everything from junk food to board games. In 1985, she was given an opportunity to try out branding for herself when Kmart offered her the chance to develop her own line of budget women's sportswear. This this venture proved a success, and Jacqueline subsequently found herself in charge of a fashion empire. Today, at age 76, she looks better than ever and is also more successful than ever thanks to her brand. But she doesn't appear in the media quite as often, only taking on acting roles sporadically. Join Facts First as we take a look at how Charlie's Angels star Jacqueline Smith looks better than ever. When Jacqueline Smith took on her iconic Charlie's Angels role in the mid-70s, she quickly rocketed to superstardom. The series followed the Three Angels, which was the code name given to a group of spies working for a mysterious figure named Charles Townsend, or Charlie. Jacqueline was one of the three original angels on the series, and she remained on for the entirety of its run. Her character's name was Kelly Garrett, and the character quickly became incredibly popular amongst audiences. As Charlie's Angels grew in popularity, Jacqueline Smith got to watch as the likeness of her character on the show was plastered on a seemingly endless variety of merchandise. They could be seen on trading cards, candy, toys, and they even got their own board game. This merchandising proved incredibly lucrative, and Jacqueline couldn't help but take note as the money rolled in. By the time Charlie's Angels ended in 1981, she had essentially gotten a crash course in branding. After her time on the show, she floundered around the entertainment industry for several years before a striking business opportunity arose. Kmart approached the actress with a proposition. The store wanted her to develop her own unique line of budget women's sportswear. Though her management insisted that forming a relationship with the big box store wasn't a good idea for her image, Jacqueline felt differently. Thankfully, her intuition proved correct, as her initial deal with Kmart paved the way for the actress to develop her own empire. At the time Kmart approached Jacqueline Smith with its lucrative offer, the store was the second largest retailer in the U.S. The Jacqueline Smith collection was made available for the first time at Kmart stores in August of 1985. While Kmart had initially wanted to use Jacqueline's name and call it a day, the actress insisted she have a hand in the design of the products that were to bear her brand. According to many, this is a big part of why the Jacqueline Smith collection was such a huge success. In addition to lending her hand to designing, Jacqueline also vehemently promoted her line of clothing at Kmart. The line was an immense success, and what was initially a simple line of budget women's sportswear quickly blossomed into a full range of clothes for any time of day. Over time, the line of products bearing Jacqueline's brand expanded out into accessories, with the Jacqueline Smith collection including shoes, sunglasses, and jewelry. 2007 saw Jacqueline expand into fabrics as she got into business with decorative fabric company Fabricut. Named Jacqueline Smith Home, her collection is still sold throughout Fabricut's budget division known as Trend. 2008 saw Jacqueline expand her business venture with Kmart as the Jacqueline Smith collection grew to include bathroom and bedroom decor, with an expansion into general home furnishings occurring soon after that. Her relationship with Kmart has continued successfully despite Kmart's struggle in the past decade to maintain control over the market, with Jacqueline and her daughter working together to develop a line of infant clothing for the previously prestigious big box store in 2014. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more and stick around for more about Jacqueline Smith. In 2017, it was estimated there were nearly a million items in the Jacqueline Smith collection sold at various Kmart stores. Currently, there are only 17 Kmart stores left in America, though Jacqueline still has other business ventures continuing to flourish elsewhere. She also developed a skincare line with her current husband in 2010 that she still sells. Her husband is Brad Allen, who is a cardiothoracic surgeon. Jacqueline also sells a line of wigs known as Style by Jacqueline Smith. While most of her ventures are in business, she isn't above returning to the screen. When Elizabeth Banks was helming the 2019 reboot of Charlie's Angels, she asked if Jacqueline would like to make a cameo in the film. Jacqueline agreed as she always has had many fond memories of her time on the original series. According to Jacqueline, she'd be nowhere if it weren't for Charlie's Angels. Though it's hard to deny that it's been Jacqueline's own ingenuity that has allowed her to make good on the promise of her Charlie's Angels fame the way she has. More recently, she could be seen in a 2021 episode of the series All American. This role may indicate Jacqueline is looking to 
get back into the public eye with a few more acting gigs, which would certainly be a welcome change. Though the actress is 76, she looks better than ever. She certainly could find a place for herself on TV, though it seems she still enjoys being on the controlling end of her business ventures more. She's come a long way over the course of her nearly eight decades. She was born in Houston, Texas, October 26, 1945. After high school, she originally aspired to be a professional ballerina. While practicing ballet, she began taking small acting gigs on television to pay the bills, including some notable roles in commercials. 1973 saw Jacqueline get a noteworthy gig shilling for Breck Shampoo, while her iconic role on Charlie's Angels came a few years later in 1976. As Charlie's Angels and its three original stars grew in popularity, Jacqueline remained the only one of the three original Angels to stay on the series throughout all five seasons. After the series ended in 1981, she continued acting consistently through the 80s, in addition to creating the Jacqueline Smith Collection for Kmart. In 1981, the aptly named Jacqueline took on the title role in the made-for-TV biopic Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy. Her role in the feature was an immense success and resulted in a Golden Globe nomination. She had a successful role in a miniseries based on Robert Ludlum's novel The Bourne Identity. The miniseries aired in 1988, and Jacqueline could be seen in another miniseries called Windmills of the Gods the same year. Entering the 90s, she became much more interested in expanding her brand than continuing to perform on television. While she's happily married to Brad Allen, the doctor is actually the actress's fourth husband. The two married in 1997. Prior to Brad, Jacqueline had three relatively short marriages, starting with a marriage to Roger Davis in 68. They remained married until 1975, and she married Dennis Cole in 1978. They remained married until 81, the same year Charlie's Angels officially ended its five-season run. In between Dennis Cole and Brad Allen, Jacqueline was married to Anthony B. Richmond throughout the 80s. She had two children with Richmond, Spencer and Gaston. It was Spencer that helped Jacqueline design her line of baby clothes for Kmart in 2014, and Spencer's daughter helped take part in the ad campaign. After divorcing their father, Jacqueline remained unmarried through the majority of the 90s before finally tying the knot with Brad Allen in 1997. The two are still married, making Jacqueline's fourth marriage the most successful she's had. Jacqueline loves spending time with her family, claiming that taking it easy with them is what keeps her looking young. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Jacqueline Smith was an incredibly successful businesswoman? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.